I think for me, it's um, ultra running is such a great vehicle for me to like put myself in those survival instinctual modes of just like, okay, how am I going to get through this? How? Because I'm like a lot of people too, where there's times like, why am I doing this? This is like stupid, you know, but it's always so much better when you finish and it's better like when you get through those experiences to like, it's just like, oh, that was so awesome. Even at the time you're like, oh, this is, this, you know, this sucks right now. I don't want to be here doing this, but coming back from that point and like getting out of that situation and kind of like just conquering it. Like, yeah, there's like, it's the reason why we do these things. So I think I like that too. And in the community, you know, the community is amazing. And I think being at an event like this where people get fired up about whatever their running goals are, same goes like in the ultra running community, everyone's for the most part really encouraging and supportive and it's like a big family. I always have felt that. That's what I love about it. Cause I, I needed encouragement and like those people that got me into the sport. And I think it's great to just kind of see it grow and it still has that feeling even though yeah there's more and more runners now and events are getting bigger there's still that community feel around it but i still have a couple of like i want to still do a few more adventure runs like the appalachian trail so but it's yeah but it's like planning those um it gets you know trickier with family and my kids now but they, i still feel like i want to do a couple of those and those get me excited even if they're smaller maybe they're not month and a half long projects but uh, yeah, I mean, that's the other element. And that adds another <laughs> piece to it. <laughs> yeah, it takes on. But um, it's been really fun, like, getting out on bike trips. I biked with our kid. My wife and I biked around Hokkaido, Japan a few years ago um, with the kids. And, like, finding ways to do adventures with the kids, like, still feel like we can push our bodies a little bit. And that might mean biking at a very slow pace with a trailer and things like that. But um, it's finding ways to get out in the mountains and exploring or out in the the wild places that we love, um, but still bring them with. And, and yeah, it's a, it's that fine balance because my wife and I are like, we don't want to give up completely. That's a, it's like, how do we combine that? And it might not be going to a race all the time. It's how can we do adventures where they come along? The thing I love the most is that you can find someone else that is an ultra runner, like on Instagram or social media, and you can message them and say, do you want to go for a run with me? And they say yes. <laughs> it's like you can't go into Tesco's and say, do you want to come food shopping with me tomorrow? Everyone would think you were a bit mental, but it's completely acceptable to do it as a runner. And I think that's a really nice part of the sport. Honestly, I love the feeling, and I know loads of people say that, it's addictive. I love running, I love just going for a run every day, whether that's four or five miles, ten miles. But I love an ultra, I love going to different places, I love seeing different places, I love all of that. And I don't mind if I'm running on my own, even in a race. I don't have to be around those people. But I love that feeling of accomplishment and the, the feeling afterwards. I mean, it's all to do with endorphins, isn't it? I don't know what it is, and it's just like a rush. Um, but I only get it from that. I've tried to find other things that give me that feeling. Ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, but it does. But it gives, gives that slightly disgusting feeling after a while when you've eaten too much of it. If you had an ultra's worth of ice cream <laughs> with an ultra, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just the feeling. I just love it. I love feeling tired. <laughs> So for me, racing is about adventure and explore, exploration. So it's really about going to places I probably wouldn't go to normally and, and experiencing that. But also, I just love the ultra running community. You know, like I've struggled my whole life to feel accepted. And the running community has been the one community that has accepted me and made me feel like I'm enough just being part of it. So for me, it's it's about encouraging that message and, and actually being able to encourage other people to participate just because it's fun, not because they have to be good at it, just because yeah. it's fun. Yeah. And, and just being outdoors, like I'm happiest when I'm outdoors, I'm happiest when I'm in the mountains or when I'm just in, surrounded by beautiful locations. So that's what I'm really excited about this year is more and more little adventures. 
I think like the community of ultra running is is really special. I don't think I've it's a it's a different. I don't know. I've never quite been able to put my finger on why, but everyone in the ultra running community is just really they're just beautiful souls. I don't know. Maybe because we're all pushing towards the same the same goal. Like everyone just wants to finish their race. It's your primary goal is to finish your race. So everyone's kind of it is a big community all pushing for the same goal and yeah I, yeah the communities i feel lucky to be part of this of this community yeah so yeah what do you love most about ultra running the people and i'll tell you why um when i did the london marathon um i didn't i just got round it right i, I and I think that reignited my love for running again. And I know it's not an ultra, but I think the good thing about that sort of stuff, and then the ultras I have done, the one common thing is it's all shapes, all sizes, and it's all standards. You don't have to be, or you can be, but you don't have to be the tiny little tight like uh, ninja that's going like absolutely mental. You can be the one at the back that's just quite happy to, to get your way around it and equally at the end you've both achieved it you've both done it and it's phenomenal it's a phenomenal thing to have done and i just like that inclusion you know there's no there is no looking down at someone you know there's none of that sort of stuff and i just wish other people that maybe are sort of thinking oh, i don't think i could do that would know it's not like that and uh, it's just not you know the, the amount of and the amount of good stuff you see people sharing stuff kit and equipment helping each other out it's mega, I love it, I think it's so good. Um, so I would urge anyone, give it a crack, it's so good, honestly. Subscribe free on YouTube and follow me on Instagram for more gear tests and training advice. I also have a book out too for everything you need to know about trail running in one handy package, including more gear advice, nutrition tips, recipes, ways to beat injury, and training plans from 10k to 50k, check it out here.